Linking two different files in Google Sheets is a really, really useful skill and they update automatically. So if this becomes 6th of February, then down here it will update as well. My name is David Benheim and I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets. What you need to do for this is use a function called import range. So you have the spreadsheet URL as the first input and then the range string is the second one. Always wrap it with speech marks. So start with speech marks, then you copy this one, go down here and paste it, close your speech marks, comma, and then as we can see here, this is the sheet name called demo and the cell range from H1 to J5. So here I would start with speech marks, type demo, then I need this exclamation mark and then I write H1 to J5, close your speech marks, close your brackets, press enter, and then it shows up there. If you have some formatting like I do here, then the formatting doesn't come through, like checkboxes or even data validation or linked things, which I actually prefer because with Excel that often causes issues. You can have your spreadsheet URL in a cell and then link it to the cell. You don't have to use speech marks if you link it to a cell. If you have extra data, for example, here, you will get this error because it tries to overwrite it. And another common error that you might see is something like this. But if you hover over it and you click allow access, then it will load as usual. So if you like this video, click the like button and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos.